Hey loves, this is Penny Problems and today I'm doing the Arcane Silver Proving Grounds. For the first round I always like to target the lizard first just because I like picking on lizards. I don't really know, I just always tend to go right first. Um, and then go ahead and kill the shield guy, just make sure you're always standing behind him. Okay, for round two, what I would normally do is pick on the lizard guide first. I went ahead and dotted him with another tempest. And the little rats in the back, again, I dotted him with another tempest. And then arcane explosion to finish them off. Okay, for round three, you always want to make sure that you're standing behind a lizard because of the Amber Weaver. He will encase them, and you want that to happen because you do more damage to them. So in this case, I accidentally killed the lizard first, which, oops, but good for me. Um, and if that happens, just go to the other side or encase the Amber Weaver himself. If this happens, try to keep the globule there in the middle because look what happens. It encases them for you and you don't have to worry about it. Again, I dotted these guys with Nether Tempest and Arcane Explosion to finish them off. But I also wanted them in case to do more damage. And you want to stand behind this guy after you finish those guys. So that way he encases himself. Easy peasy. Okay, for this round, it's pretty simple. You want to target the healer, which is the Jinyu. I dotted him with Nether Tempest and the people behind him with Nether Tempest. So, this is all just interrupts, basically. If you can interrupt his healing, you can take him down. No problem. This next round is very self-explanatory. You always want to target the healer first. So everything we just learned except target the healer first. So the Jinyu dies first, then my buddy the lizard there, and then the guy with the shield. Next round, same thing. You're going to want to kill the Jinyu first. So heals always dies first. And the people in the back, don't worry about them because as you can see, they encase themselves. Which works in our favor. You can dot them up with Nether Tempest. Uh, I use counter spells, my interrupt, by the way. Uh, I also have Frost Jaws a backup talent. And I'll show you my talents at the end of this video and my glyphs.
Okay, congratulations, you made it to the last round. So, same thing. Okay? Jin Yu's gotta die first. Which, if you learn anything from this video, please let it be Jin Yu needs to die first. Um, Icy Flows comes into. Uh, well, Icy Flows is really handy here because you need to move away from the globs. So have them encase themselves makes the things a million times easier. And this is I think this is the last time or not the last time, this is the first time that I actually let the lizard die last. So cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about talents that I used. Well, first go ahead and give yourself a dance because you did it. So, talents used is Ice Flows, Flame Glow, Frost Jaw, Catarize, Nether Tempest, Encanter's Flow, and Overpowered. I like to pick passive talents because it just makes your life a million times easier. Glyphs used is Arcane Power, Cone of the Cold, and Rapid Displacement. Alright, good job guys. I'll see you later.